Hello everybody, welcome back to more Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green, and my name is Blacksmith. Uh, sorry about the last episode cutting out, but hey, we're here. Uh, what did we do in the last episode? We got the Pokey Flute, we failed to catch Snorlax, and uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> not much happened. But, I'm, the reason I've not, uh, oh, sorry, I've got the selected. The reason I'm here is because there's a hidden item you can't find without the item finder and it gives us one leftovers which is super super handy uh the question is which of my pokemon is i going to use with you know hold it uh bubbles can bubbles is also dead i should probably fix that before <laughs> ah it's fine so route 16 excuse me please wait up oh. No pedestrians are allowed on cycling road. Do I not have a bicycle? I still have the bike voucher. I I never went to pick up the bike. Well, that's embarrassing. Um, <laughs> we're gonna ride together on our bikes, relaxing over with my girlfriend on a bike. Hey, if you have Pokédex's 40 species, I'm going to give you a bike. Ambulant coin. That's probably better. I've only got 36, though, so that's useless. I need to go back to some really city to get a bike. Oh, no. Okay, it's, it's okay. Because we have... Go up. We have Felix. And he likes to fly. Uh... Cerulean. There we go. Tell you what, we'll also revive Bubbles. Because, uh, we're right next to a Poke Center now. Oh my god, well, what a start to this episode we're having. I call it episode. It's, it's, a, it's a part. I, I call it a part, but maybe I should start calling them episodes. Because I'm certainly having one right now. Anyways, let's say uh, go grab ourselves a, a bicycle. Oh, that's a bike voucher. Okay, here you go. And now we're the proud owner of a bicycle. It's that simple. Right. So Felix is gonna take us back to Cerulean City. Oh my God, the. Uh, the fails have already begun, and it's not even been like a minute yet. Oh. So, back to over to where we were trying to go. Yeah, so yeah, sorry about the um, abrupt interruption. Um, unfortunately, there wasn't much I could do to um, fix it, and we're just going to try and avoid as many of these bikes as possible. Um, Route 17, there's not really any new Pokemon, it's just ones we've already seen or, you know, Fearos evolving into Fearos. So yeah, no new Pokemon to really add. We could skip all these cyclists by hugging this wall here and just like that, we are on Route 18. And there is one new Pokemon to go over, and it's given to you by this guy. So this guy wants either a Slowbro or a Glow... Uh, uh, what, what did I say? A Slowbro or a Golduck. There you go. I, I've tripped over my own words, and I don't know how. So Golduck and Fire Red, Slowbro and Leaf Green, and Bio will take it away for Lickitung. You get Lickitung on Route 18, it's a dreadful normal type Pokemon, don't use it. In all seriousness, its move pool is dreadful, Stomp's probably the best move it learns. It's slow, it has no real stats other than HP, its abilities are okay, not being able to be confused or infatuated by Cute Calm or Attract is great. But other than that, Lickitung is dreadful. Do not use it. It's a collector's item Pokemon only. Grand! I like your style. I think we can be friends. Take this and fish, young friend. And we got a good rod. 
Fishing is a way of life. It is like the finest poetry. The crummy old rod could only catch Magikarp, yes. But with a good rod, you can catch much better Pokemon. And he is correct. There is... Just by acquiring a good rod, there is so many more... So many more. So much more Pokemon to capture now. And uh, I'm just going to quickly uh, go over them all. Whoa, look at that map. <laughs> On a serious note, Psyduck. He's pure water type, despite knowing confusion. So uh, it, I always get confused when Golduck evolves and he's only a water type. Um, a re unfortunately, really bad move pool, but HMs fill in the problems. And Golduck evolving really helps the Pokemon out because those stats are really good looking. Unfortunately, this Pokemon is only available in Fire Red, so Leaf Green users don't worry about it. Oh my god, it's my boy Polly Boy. So, Poliwag is, I, I'm gonna be honest, is one of my favourite Pokemons. I love Poliwag so much. The design is perfect. Um, but anyway, I need to start talking more about this Pokemon. Its move pool is desirable, but because it's a water type, it can learn HMs such as Surf, so no big deal. It evolves fairly late, but in return it gets Body Slam, it gets Belly Drum, it get, turns into a water fighting type, and it has some really beefy stats when it evolves into Polyrath. Everyone loves Slowpoke, right? Um, he's exclusive only to Leaf Green, so sorry Fire Red users, you don't get an awesome water psychic Pokemon. Um, its move pool is very much desirable. Having Psychic at level 40 or 44 is incredible, but then having nothing else to look forward to kinda sucks. Thankfully, he's a water type, so he that problem is fixed by having HMs. And of course, its name is Slowpoke. Don't expect it to be very fast. On the plus side, it's incredible. So if you want a water type, get a Slowpoke. Goldeen is a very interesting water type Pokemon. I mean, Water Veil prevents being burned, Swift Swim lower speed in the rain, that's all good. What's notable is this Pokemon learns 1 Waterfall and 2 Mega Horn, and 3 Horn Drill, a one hit KO move. The downside? It's just not that good. Who's going to use a fire type move against a water type? No one, so Water Veil is pretty useless. Having a high attack stat doesn't really help because you don't get Mega Horn until after the Elite Four. Overall, this is just another past Pokemon that, you know, wishes it could be good. But there's better water types, so yeah, Goldeen's a no from me. Yo guys, Future Blacksmith here, and I'm just here to say that. Uh, my dumbass for some reason decided to uh, include this whole Snorlax fight. No idea why. Um, it's the second time I'm recording this Snorlax fight, so it's, you know, pretty cool. Um, but long story short, I don't catch the Snorlax, and keep, honestly, me keeping this in is just kind of filler at this point, but it's fine. Everything's fine. Um, but yeah, I, I was hoping to say a little bit more, but I just the words aren't coming to me. Um, things will go back to normal fairly soon, but uh, yeah, this is this Snorlax fight, it, when I was editing it, took me about five minutes. Five minutes for one fight. That's because the Snorlax was stay in the damn Pokeball. But anyways, my uh, time as future blacksmith is up, so I will see everyone later. Survive! No, you're dead. Well, there's another Snorlax killed. Um, probably my own fault for for not buying actually good Pokeballs like Ultra Balls or something like that. But ah, uh, what can you do? On the plus side, we did get another leftovers, so I'm very happy about that. And. The reason we killed that Snorlax is so we can meet the fishing guru's younger brother. I simply love fishing. I can't bear to go without. Tell me, do you like to fish? Good. I like your style. I think we can be friends. Take this and fish, young friend. 
we got the super rod. Uh, I'm not going to cut big magic up with that super rod. But now we've got all three fishing rods, which is super handy. Um, and with that, I'm going to probably end the episode here because while we haven't done a lot, done a lot this episode, we have essentially gone through Route 16, 17, and 18, got to Fushia City, got the good rod. We also beat up another Snorlax along Route 12 and got the Super Rod. Um, as for bios, there isn't necessarily too many Pokemon I can go over. Um, so I'll leave the episode running for a little bit longer. Um, if it doesn't, then the episode... If it doesn't go a little bit longer, then it means there are no new Pokemon to be captured. In that case, thank you all for watching. But um, yeah, I'm going to go off and do some of my own things. I have a lot of prep to do, and I don't know why I flew to Viridian City. I, like, I've got a lot of stuff to do before the next part. So um, anyway, if nothing happens at the end of this, you know, after this, thank you all for watching. Um, the peace. Uh, let me know what you're thinking down below, and uh, yeah. I'll catch you all next time.